So we're going to look at the effects of hand washing or not washing your hands. Um, we're going to test different ways without washing, with just rinsing with water, with washing with soap, and then using hand sanitizer. Uh, the importance of this is to let you realize how much stays on your hands when you touch from one thing to another surface. You are often transferring organisms from that first surface to the second one. You may be picking something up on the second one and then transferring it again. In the health career field, that's why it's so, so important that you learn how to wash your hands properly and you wash between every patient so that you minimize the possibility of transferring one infection from one patient to a, a secondary patient. So the first thing we're going to do, these plates are just um, a general media, most anything will grow on them. And so you can see I have the plates divided in half. What I'm going to do is on this first plate, I'm just going to take a couple of my fingers and I'm just going to touch like this. So we will, after incubating, find out what's on my hand. Now, in the upper half, all I'm going to do is what some people think qualifies as washing your hands, which is just kind of rinsing your hand with water. Just through the water, rinse it, I'm done. Most of us will tell you that does not count as washing your hands. So we're gonna find out. I'm just gonna touch my fingertips here. We're going to incubate these plates. Now, on this plate, what we're going to use is the hand sanitizer, and now I'm also going to wash my hands for at least 30 seconds, which is what the recommendation is. So I'm getting my hands wet. I am putting, this is just general soap. Any type of soap works. It is um, detergent is what also will help. See? So, as you can see, I'm washing both the insides of my hands, rubbing on the outside of the hands, washing between my fingers. Don't forget about your thumb. If you just go like this and that's it, you're forgetting the back side, you're forgetting between the, the fingers. And so we're getting lots of lather here. And some people will tell you, sing the ABC song, sing happy birthday. You can come up with all kinds of things as long as you wash them good. And then, I'm going to use the same fingers that I used previously, and touch down here. Now I need to dry my hands. For the fourth section on the second plate, I'm going to use uh, some hand sanitizer. Rub that on there, and then touch. We'll incubate these and look at them tomorrow to see how effective the soap versus the hand sanitizer versus just rinsing with water versus doing nothing at all. So we have four different spots on the plates that we inoculated. I, I use my three middle fingers to touch the plate. If we start over here on the bottom. That is where I just touched those with my fingertips without washing my hands at all. Now, one thing I want to say is when I did this, I had been working in the lab all day, but I had had gloves on. So touching things around the lab, around my environment, I had not had direct contact because I had gloves on. So that could explain why the numbers are kind of low on there. Then up here in this top half, this is where I just uh, rinsed with water. No soap, just rinsed with water. You'll notice that there's much higher growth there on my fingers. Now something that could explain this is the fact that, number one, I had to turn on the water with my hands. It's not a foot activated uh, water faucet, it's with my hands. So I'm not sure, this was in the lab, I'm not sure when the last time the uh, faucet handles were cleaned. So I could have picked, picked up organisms from there. Also, keep in mind too that the water coming out of your faucet is not sterile. So drinking water, water for human consumption, is tested for fecal coliforms and pathogens, but 
it doesn't mean that it's sterile. There could, I mean, these could be non-pathogenic organisms. All it is showing is that it's bacteria. Over on this plate now, at the bottom, this is where I washed my hands. I used just regular soap, and I did wash it for 20 seconds, which is the recommended time period. Now, <clears throat> excuse me. Once again, I'm touching the water faucet. I'm touching the soap dispenser. And then uh, in between, I'd also use paper towels, touch the paper towel dispenser. So that might be where some of the bacteria is also coming from. And then this upper quadrant here is when you used hand sanitizer. Um, once again, how many people have touched the top of the hand sanitizer? Just some of the things to keep in mind, be aware of cross-contamination. I really want to stress this. Uh, we are filming this particular lab during the COVID-19 pandemic. So I want to stress to you the importance of hand washing and also stress the importance of you touch one substance, go touch something else. You could be transmitting those microorganisms from one location to another. So just wash your hands.